How you doing guys? Yep, one more time. Welcome back. Welcome back to the wettest channel on the internet. Wait a minute, I thought I was singing a song. I'm just joking. So yep, we're launching off today off of Hallover Marina, one of my favorite places here in Miami. You know why? Because Hallover Sandbar is just a few minutes away. So we're gonna back in the hydro and get it ready to go. And remember guys, if you wanna keep up with the daily activities and the daily posts, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Fresco Channel. And if you're wondering why is the ramp so empty, it's because it's Friday, it's not the weekend yet. But for us, we're getting an early start because you know me, I love being on the boat and not dealing with the ramp hassle and parking hassle, it makes it even easier and more enjoyable. All I have to do is find a good spot and hang out and watch the sunset. And while we take a drive down to the sandbar, I would like to thank everyone that participated and watched the live stream on Monday. And if you missed it, go check it out because it was all about the Miami Boat Rally event coming up this summer on June 11, 12, and 13. And you can always get more information at www.miamiboatrally.com. And while we get closer to the sandbar, we can see other boaters are leaving. But it's okay though, because I know they'll be back tomorrow. But there's other boaters still here having fun in the sun. And they're gonna enjoy it as long as they can. And that is the best part about sandbar life. is spending time on the boat, on the water, on the sandbar, having a good time with family and friends, making every minute count. And we have reached the best destination, the sandbar. And we're gonna go ahead and position ourselves to anchor. But you notice something? There's a lot of boaters out here. What's going on? And it's not even summer yet. All right guys, so we're back home, back home at the sandbar, all over. It's actually uh, late Friday, because you know us, we make it late everywhere. And look, there's people here, enjoying the, the, the little fry that's left. It feels like summer already, and it's not. Yuli Silex on the boat. So how does it feel to be back home at the sandbar? It's been a long time, right? Be honest. Be honest. Or lie. What do you want to do? No, be honest. Okay, be honest. Yeah, there's nothing like Miami water. <laughs> ah, ooh. I mean, I like the, the peacefulness and quiet of uh, Cape Coral. Oh, so you're pushing, you're pushing back to Miami? It's all good, though. No, it's still like a cool. oh, different, different, different things to see, I guess. But we're here this weekend, though. Has some fun in the sun. So you know what? It feels good to be back home at Hallover Sandbar, and we're taking advantage of uh, the rest of the afternoon, and we're gonna do a little bit of. Uh, it's been a long time, right? What time is it? What time is it? Boom! Small Sasha's time. Did I just say that? Nah. We will call it little. No, it still don't sound right. We can't call it small. We can't call it little. I guess not that many. It's not that many sausage time. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, just make a little snack for the kids here while we enjoy the rest of the day at that sandbar. Well, the rest of the afternoon, cause it's pretty late. We got here like at, I wanna say 5.30, 6. Check this out guys. Sasha's time turned to forest fire time. Oh my goodness. I guess all the grease is driven down and uh, it's cooking them too fast. They're gonna be nice and crispy, I guess. It's all good though, it's all good in the hood. We like them crispy. Woo. It's a little scary now. Oh, look at that. I haven't had sausage in a long time. Woo, my goodness. Oh, that Cape Coral working got me, uh, got me missing the sausages. But we're back here though. We're back here today. Check it out. People are here and more bulls are showing up. 
I guess it's never too late to go to the sandbar. And you know what else is never too late? To come by and say hi. Because it's always great to meet people and watch the channel. This is something you know already, right? Let's do it. All right, it's time to have some sausage churn. Sausage churn. You gotta be careful with the dog, though. You only want some sausage, too. Lazy people, sausage is done. Come on, lazy people. They want to eat, but they don't want to do nothing. All right. It's already chomping. All right, let me have a little taste. It's been a long, long time. Mm, still tastes good. Yeah. Even Cookie wants some. I mean, even Yuli wants some. These are really good. Okay, so while Yuli watches us eat, I'm going to go ahead and sit down, relax and enjoy some sausage and watch the boats go by and see what else everyone's up to here at the sandbar in the late Friday afternoon. And what do we have here? A pink sandbar shark? But it looks like a dog. What is it? And while most of us enjoy the water and play in the sandbar, others enjoy it a different way by sleeping on the boat. But that's okay. That's just another way of enjoying the sandbar life. And you know what else I'm enjoying? This beautiful hustler that just pulled up with the big sounds of the big V8s. And it brought back great memories when I had my speed boats with the loud rumbling sounds of the M boat. And well, it's our turn to pick up and leave the sandbar because we have to find another spot to spend the night. But we got lucky because we're gonna witness another beautiful sunset over Miami. And I would like to thank these guys right here for helping me anchor the rear anchor to the island. So we moved over to our favorite island, well, our favorite second island. Because my number one here in Miami is Boca Chita. Nevertheless, but this is my number two, right next to Hallover Sandbar uh, beer can. We're actually gonna be spend the night here um, because this is what we normally have to do. Because during summertime, there's so many boaters that the ramp closes around 9 30, 10 o'clock, so we can't make it. So we're already used to this. We come Friday night, stay over, and then enjoy the weekend. Because if not, you're stuck or you have to get up really early to go to the ramp. And I, you know us, we can't get up early, so we come late and uh, hang out here at Beer King. So I guess we're gonna catch some dinner and a beautiful sunset. That's it, that's it. This is what Fresco Channel is all about. Hanging out in the water. And also, if you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on all notifications like that. You won't miss any more videos.
outside, so it's getting kind of dark, I guess. Well, not dark. It's, 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 the sun's going down. So, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make it into daytime. All right, check out, check out the lights. Check out the lights. Check it out, check it out. Boom! There you go. We made it daytime for us here to have a late, 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 I guess, whatever, whatever is going to go on the barbecue. I don't even know. Let me check. Let me see if anything cooking, anything cooking, anything cooking, anything cooking. Nope, it was empty. Like my stomach. So I guess we're going to, I don't know. I don't even know what we're going to make. So we're just chilling here. Chilling, enjoying the beautiful sunset. Look at that. And there's plenty of boats out here to be a Friday. When I got to the sandbar, that must have been like 30, 30, 35 boats. And now here by the island, it's about, I'll say 10. I mean, some people are leaving, but the rest are here staying, I guess. They're going to spend the night like us. And the rest of my crew is, is down. It's down. Look at this. She's, she thinks she's at home. And he thinks he's at home. And then she thinks he's in her bed. And it's dark in there. Turn some light up by him. What's up? Boom! Yeah. What can you do, right? And if you live here in Miami, you already know you cannot predict the Miami weather. And you know what else you cannot predict? The Miami borders. Because all of a sudden, a few boats showed up and they started their own island party around us. Or maybe they just wanted to be on camera. But it's okay. That's a good thing about living in Miami. A party can start anywhere. All you need is good music, good friends, and good times. Alright, so wow. They're having a party over there. We're gonna have to try to have some dinner. What are we having today, Chef? Big mamas. White rice. White rice. And chicken, some chicken. chicken huh? breast. <laughs> white rice, chicken breast. Why, why was that funny? <laughs> because I said white rice. So she cutting it up with the music in the background. She dancing. Go on, girl. Dance what you cut. Dance what you cut. Dance what you cut. Yeah, yeah. While they party on the, on the island, we partying over here trying to have some dinner up in here. It was peace and quiet with a beautiful sunset, but you know, this is Miami. Party time. All right, so if you guys hear that noise in the background, is we're trying, we're trying something different. We're trying to use the Honda generator that you see right there to see what all the stuff that powers. So, uh, but it's kind of noisy, though. Right? You know, because I didn't know the skillet pulled so much power. So we're trying something new. We'll see what happens just in case if my big generator bakes, we got a backup. So that's why you hear so much noise in the background. Check it out. We're having some mushrooms and everything. Some gourmet at the island's mine with some tomatoes mine. Yeah. Check it out. We got that master chef in La Raza today. She's doing her best, but she's worrying about the party over there, not worrying about the kitchen over here. No. She want to go party over there with the, with, the, with the crowd, but she has to get stuck cooking. You know me very well. You see, she prefers to be over there having fun than to cook here for us. I just think, like, or maybe she does want to be over there. I don't know. What do you think? Gabby's the first one because she don't want no mushroom. Spoil your thing, little Gary. Now we're doing a special, a special thing. What are we doing? Uh oh, mushroom and rice. Uh oh. She's out doing herself tonight. We got all kinds of noise in the background. We got generator party. Yeah. Yes, this is mine. They smell it, they come.
Well, the day turned out great because we're doing what we love. Being on the boat, being on the water, and now enjoying a tasty dinner that Ogita made and it came out great, especially the mushrooms. And normally, I say we have million dollar breakfast, but tonight, we're having a million dollar dinner. And it's not a million dollars because it costs so much, but it's a million dollars because we enjoy it so much. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Enjoying life in every minute you can. And talking about enjoying, make sure you guys turn in tomorrow because we went over to the sandbar and it actually turned out to be a pretty fun, crazy day with a lot of people having fun in the sun and enjoying the sandbar life. And you know me, I love having fun in the sun and family time and meeting people that watch the channel. And also, sometimes I get messages like this that inspires me to keep going forward in helping people making life-changing decisions. And I would like to thank Andy for letting me share his message and being such a great fan to the channel. And I would like to welcome him and his family to Miami and now he's an official Miamian.